Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started in today's video, Dad and I want to let you know that we finally have some brand new Stud Pack shirts on our store. This is our Stud Pack Summer Edition t-shirt. It's got the super clean STUD stud logo right there. Love that, Woo. but check this out, gang. Right here on the back, Woo. we got the, uh, the summer logo right there with the palm trees on the back, the super cool summer colors. Makes me want to go on a vacation, man. Me too, They're I want to go to the beach. I Absolutely. So these are super cool, super soft. We got all kinds of sizes. So make sure you guys head on over to Stud Pack com and copy with shirt because they're gonna go pretty fast and you guys thought i was done check this out look what we got right here hey we got some stud pack stickers huh nice hey these are just a super fun thing to slap on some stop signs buses cop cars no we're not doing all that but these are a super cool way to rep stud pack and support their channel as well you can put them on toolboxes stuff like that dad's got one on the back of his truck yeah so we people have been honking at me all day yeah. honking all day so once again they're gonna be on the website stay on the lookout for these and uh, i'm gonna let dad take it away Hey gang, welcome back to our channel. I'm Paul with Stud Pack. In our previous video, you saw Jordan and I use the new, new to us, two-piece tin adhesive to glue together our outside corners on the light rail of the crown. And I gotta tell you what, gang, it came out absolutely fantastic. We love that stuff and we can't wait to use it again. A lot of positive feedback on that video. A lot of you even mentioned you've never tried it before. You were skeptical, but now you're gonna give it a try. Go out and find you some, use it on your own project. You got this, you can do it, and it's gonna be great. You also saw us put up these lights right here under the cabinets. That was very easy for us to do. We already had the wiring there, and these lights really make this backsplash shine. Yeah. Now, speaking of that backsplash, a lot of you binocular bobs watching our videos, you're probably wondering, hey, Stud Pack, we saw you put the tile up, but I noticed it's grouted and we never saw that. Maybe you guys hired it out. Maybe you chickened out on the grout. Like you chickened out on drywall finishing, right? Well, no, we did it. We grouted it ourselves. We got a little montage together for you. So let's get this backsplash grouted. All right, my heartbeat is back to normal. We are done. We have one more step we're gonna show you at the end, but that went great, Jordan, don't you think? It went great, no cap. No what? No cap. What does that mean? Like, uh, no <laughs> joke. Okay. Yeah. So we mix it according to directions, no slaking. You just mix it for five minutes and you're ready to go. And I would say after about 20 minutes, we noticed it starting to set up in the bucket. But by that time we were done. There was two of us working. I went ahead of Jordan with the small trowel, did these little edges. He came back with the larger one, did the broader areas. And then when I was done with my share, I went back and started cleaning. And we're always changing that water. We probably changed it three or four times at least. So we're always working with clean water as much as we can to reduce the amount of haze. We'll come over here to this one. This is the area where we first started. And last step, give it a quick polish with this microfiber towel, and you're gonna see how this shines. Ooh, look at that. And that looks fantastic. Now that was one 10 pound bag we used. We had a little bit left over, but it was a perfect amount. And if I was doing this by myself, I probably wouldn't try to tackle the whole thing alone. I'd cut that bag in half. I would weigh it. I'd mix five pounds at a time. You gotta move quick with this stuff. You do. It's very intense. Yeah, you cannot stop. If your phone rings, let it go. Yeah. Turn it off. Straight to voicemail. 
And it's, it's a little bit of a workout. Isn't no, it? it's definitely a workout because you're, you're at the pushing. same intensity the yeah. whole time. You're using your shoulders and your arms. You're make sure you're pushing the grout inside of the joints. You're making sure that you're, you know, not only pressing, but wiping because you want to clean as you go yep. to reduce the amount of times that you have to go back with a sponge and, and you're working fast. Yep. The speed is the main thing, I think. That's right. And Jordan's eyes are a lot better than mine. He always comes behind me to make sure we got every little area cleaned up. If we missed a little area, just take some grout with your fingers. Sometimes that's the best tool to do here and get up here in this corner. So let's use this microfiber over here to see how it looks. Oh, look at that. Look how it just shines so nice. All right, the microfiber cloth did a great job. I think that's my favorite step because it means we're done. It's like polishing that trophy after all that hard work, right? But as you can see, I got my painter suit on. We're going to get in that pantry and give it a light coat of color. I actually don't have as much paint as I thought I did, so I'm just gonna spray the shelves, give them a light coat, we'll get some more paint, and give the whole thing a second coat tomorrow. Hey, feather coat's what you should do anyway, right? That's First right. coat? Yep. Cool. So let me get suited up, and we'll spray that really fast. It's a few days later. That paint in the pantry has had time to cure. Let's open this door and check it out. Let's do it. Now you're gonna notice when I open this door, I got a motion sensor in there now. That light's gonna come on automatically. Check that out. Got one four inch LED in the ceiling. And look at this, they already got food in there. You think they're ready to start cooking in this I, kitchen? I, I would be. Look at this place. It looks fantastic. So we're gonna close the door. We probably won't be back in this pantry until we're ready to hook up this new TV right here. Maybe we'll even talk them into getting an OLED. What do you think? Hey, I've never watched sports or anything on an OLED TV. So to be whipping it up on the stove with your new uh, bespoke post cleaver and all that. That's right. Hey, that'd be awesome. Notice there's no electronics right here. It's all inside the pantry. We're gonna go through the wall. Put that TV in, no wires, it's gonna be epic. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But before we can call this backsplash 100% done, there's one more step we have to do. We have to seal this joint at the intersection between the glass backsplash and our quartz countertop. Now we had some comments asking us, hey, how come we didn't put this right on top of the quartz? How come you put a spacer right here? Well, this is really hard tile, this is a really hard counter. I need a little buffer in there. It's gonna crack if you grout it. It absolutely will, I've seen it. And the pie actually makes a color match caulk called Caracalk. We've actually used it in the past, but it mildews. Yeah, it does. Uh, how do you know it mildews, by the way? Well, I can show you. You want to go see? Okay. All right. Now, if you're an OG stud pack follower, you're going to recognize this bathroom. We did this about a year ago, but there's one thing in here that bugs me, and we're going to fix it. Come down here, gang, at the intersection between the tub and the subway tile. You see it's starting to mildew? It started to mildew just a few weeks after we finished this, over a year ago. And it's always bugged me, and we use the Caracalk in here. I don't know what I was thinking, probably picked up just the wrong product. Because you really got to look close to see 100% silicone right there. So if your product says siliconized, acrylic, water cleanup, put it back on the shelf and make sure you're using 100% silicone in a bathroom or a kitchen. So let's head back into that kitchen and finish that backsplash. All right, guys, here's our setup. It looks a little bit like we're about to operate on something, doesn't it? We got our big light here, our sterile rags, our scissors, our secret solution in here, our metal caulk gun. Well, let me show you what we're gonna do. Remember, 100% silicone, it's messy. I found that paper towels don't work very well for cleanup. They tear and it gets everywhere. So I just got the cheap t-shirt rags you can buy, $2 for a box, and I cut them up into little squares. I've tried using one big rag for the whole project, but you know what happens, that silicone gets everywhere. So once I get, use this rag, clean up the tools, I'm gonna ball it up, throw it away, and I've got a pile of new ones, always staying clean. Now, right here, we've got this original Kramer silicone profiling kit. This is our secret weapon. Now I know what you're saying, Stud pack, just use your finger. But wait till you see the results of this. It'll blow your mind. And there's a little secret in here. It may be a lot better than you think, and we're gonna show you that. We've got our silicone loaded up, denatured alcohol in a spray bottle. Let's get going. Now I'm in the habit of using a caulk gun, and I pull. But it's much better when you're using silicone to push. And you always have a little bead ahead of the nozzle. Pushing? Push the tip. Really? Check this out. So I'm started. Now I'm just gonna push. And that tip on the tube is pushing that sealant all the way in and we're getting a nice seal right there between the glass tile and that quartz countertop. Almost there. Next step, I'm gonna lightly spray it with denatured alcohol. 
The reason for that is silicone won't stick to that. So wherever there's denatured alcohol, the silicone won't stick. So here's our secret weapon. This is one of the profilers that come in the kit. There are these two little black sleds and they help the profiler to ride over the grout lines so you don't get that little dip. So I'm gonna make a pass right here and check it out. Now that looks fantastic. That little sled does a great job. Now right here, we had a little spot where it didn't work so well. So I'm gonna use my finger and put a little denatured alcohol on the rag and I can just hit that real quickly and take care of that. I mean, at the end of the day, you have the most control with your finger. Yep. There, perfect. Man, that looks sweet. I love using those little silicone blades. If you guys are having trouble with the silicone, getting it tooled the way you want it, invest it in one of those little kits. It's gonna change the game for you. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, and that's what this is all about. Practice, practice, practice. Usually practice on your friend's house, then go home and do your own house, and you'll get results that look just like that. Now that that sealant is all done, we're gonna head over here to this glass door cabinet and install an LED strip on the inside and in the bottom. The inside lights are going to light up this, whatever they put in there, it's going to look fantastic. And then we want to just compare this LED strip to the LED lights we put on those cabinets. So what we have to do, we're going to remove these shelves and clip the corner to make room for that LED light to go by. And we're also going to cut a little bitty chamfer strip out of the doors that were on here. So the light is angled to the inside and not pointed straight back. So let's head out to the saw and cut those strips. Again, here's our first attempt at the chamfer strip. Came out fine, but it's pretty wide. You can see how narrow that LED strip is. We made a second pass, adjusted the fence much better. So that's what we're gonna go with. Let's cut one more. All right, the LED strips are in. We just pulled off the backing, used the adhesive on the back, and in stud pack fashion, it was the exact length we needed, not an inch too long or an inch too short. But right now, we're gonna go outside, clip the corner of those shelves so they clear that tape, put the shelves in, fire them up, see how it looks. Let's head out to the saw and cut those shelves. All right, that was easy. We clipped the corner on the shelves and I can't even see it from here. In fact, I can't even see the LEDs through the glass. That's gonna look awesome. Now we temporarily wired a receptacle up top and plugged our LEDs into that. We have a temporary switch right here. Oops. 
Did you see that? You almost gave it away. Oh, some lightning. <laughs> this will be on a dimmer, but before we do all the final details of the electrical, we want to make sure we like this. If we turn those on and we don't like the lights, well, no harm, no foul. We can just easily remove what we put in. You ready to fire them up, bud? I'm, I'm so ready. I've been excited for this for so long. Right, you turn them on. No, you do it. You do it. Well, I'm gonna hold the camera. All right, I'm, the, I'm the camera all right, guy. All right, I'll do it. What? Oh man, Dad, you gotta get out here. What's up? I'm trying to get dinner ready. Get out here, man. Bespoke Post sent us a bunch of these boxes. They're actually sponsoring today's video and uh, we're gonna crack them open and see what we got in here, man. What? I've heard of these guys. I've actually been on their website. They sent us out some beautiful products. I know, so we got this one box here. I kind of already got started without you because I was so excited. That's but, okay. Uh, let's get. Let's crack it open and see what we got. Whoa, look at that thing. You can see look all at that. Them. You can see all the individual layers of steel. Yeah, there's like 256 layers of Damascus in there, I think. And look at that handle. That's, yeah. that's cool, dude. Now, are you gonna get that or is that for me? Well, we gotta see what else is in here. I think you're gonna like this one right here. Okay, well, why don't you okay. use that and open this box? Okay, let's do it. So what's the typical value of these boxes? So every single box comes with at least $70 in value, but they only cost 45. So this knife, I mean, you see this in a store and how much are you thinking? Over 100, for right, sure. Right, 100%. Yeah. So now we have this cool knife for only $45. And we get to use it to open our other boxes. Oh, see, now this is what I'm talking about. This is yours. Yeah, we got the grill right yeah, here. Yeah, this is where you shine. Now I'm seeing some barbecue rub. This is the carnivore box. Carnivore box. Yeah, so it comes with two things. I think you're gonna like what's in here, man. Yeah, I'm thinking you keep the knife if I can keep this. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that is beautiful. But I've never had a meat cleaver. And we are always cooking here. Always. Chicken, pork, beef. And that's gonna be awesome. Made in Italy. Here, check that out. Oh, wow. It's, it's heavy. It is heavy. It is heavy. Wow. So you, you're going to keep the cleaver, huh? I'll keep the cleaver. All right. I'll keep that. But let's see what's in here. We may have to split this okay. up. Okay. Right, so where do you think they get all this stuff? Well, Bespoke actually works with small businesses in the United States. Uh, during the COVID crisis, they actually spent about $45 million to keep those small businesses afloat. So we love that, working yes. with small businesses and keeping them up. We're talking about that all the time yep. on our channel, buying locally and all that. Awesome. What is this? The Weekender. A weekender. I love weekends. An heirloom level carry, y'all. That is steez. Like this. I can see you getting on an airplane with that. I love this. Shoulder strap? Shoulder strap. It looks like it's uh, it's metal right here. Build quality is awesome. So what if I want to keep the two knives, but I want to send this back and get something different? You can actually get it. Yeah, you get a preview of every box before it gets shipped to your house. All right. So you can either keep it, swap it for another box, or you can just skip the month entirely at no charge whatsoever. Well, so that's, that's super cool. That's convenient. So this is perfect. I mean, we can order this stuff online. It gets shipped straight to your door. These knives are absolutely epic. You can have them display on a shelf. On a, on a book stand, anything. You can even use this, keep this in your truck. And once you visit Bespoke Post's website using StudPack20, you guys are gonna be taken to their homepage where you'll be prompted to take a short quiz. This is gonna allow Bespoke to tailor the boxes to your interests. So if you guys are ready to check out these cool boxes, head on over to the link in the description, use the code StudPack20 to get 20% off of your first box, and thank you to Bespoke for sponsoring this video. What happened? Oh, oh. There they are. <laughs> Hey, I gotta tell you. Woo! Now, once again, we are revealing our um, our lights in the middle of the day. That's right. So it's a little hard to see, but the under cabinet looks great, and it's all on one. This does, yeah. Kind of bright in the corners, reflecting off the paint. But I think once there's stuff in there, it's gonna be fine. I like it a lot, man. All right, gang, that looks absolutely awesome. We love it. But there's one more thing we gotta do before we leave today. Now, you binocular Bob's been watching, right? You probably noticed we didn't caulk this, and there's a reason. Hey, hey. Oh, it's sealant. sealant. Sealant, sorry, sealant. You probably noticed we didn't put sealant on here, and there's a very good reason. Because we know from previous experience that when we drill these holes and get sawdust everywhere, it's gonna go in the fresh sealant. But now that it's all vacuumed, let's run that bead, and we're out of here. Call it a day. All right. Cool. Ooh, that looks great. You put the silicone on here, got the lights going. We even got some nice sparkly high dollar items to put in the cabinet so they sparkle. We can see how those lights look. And I gotta say, I think I like that, Jordan. I, I love it. Change a thing. Yeah, and something we never talked about is the temperature of these lights actually matches the ones that we installed. They're so perfect. it's perfect, man. They're perfect. So we'll just tie this off up top, put it in a box nice and neat, wrap that up. Speaking of wrapping up, we're wrapped up with this video, gang. Head to the store, go out to your shop, get some 100% silicone sealant. Can't use caulk. Make a pass around that like button. Smooth it out with that tool. Make it look professional. Hit that like button hard for us. Get down below in the comments. Ask us a question. Leave us one of your comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go to studpack.com. Cop yourself some new Studpack summer merchandise. It's going to go fast. Thanks for all the support. And we'll see you on the next one.